Hello, hello, Crafty Man is here, and welcome back to another episode of Rebirth of the Night. So I've done I've I've done a few things around you know around the base. the The primary thing is this right here. So we can go ahead and come up here. So we actually now have a platform that we can actually come up and look down and see that there's mobs, <laughs> mobs everywhere. But yeah, so this isn't this isn't finished. Um, I need to get some more of this glow and stone stuff so I can make stairs, so I can put lanterns up here as well. Trying to get rid of some of the torches and stuff. And it, you might have noticed this is a little burnt. It's gone, all gone. Yeah, there was stairs here, and I was putting in lava because there's actually a layer of lava underneath here. And it's now gone, you know, so mm, that is definitely looking the worst for wear. But yeah, so I've got lava sitting at this level right here. So it ends up, you know, coming down. So two levels of lava, basically. And we are in, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting stuff prepared in order to actually open this up. So if we come out here, as you can see, we've got a nice little, um, moat going on though it doesn't have anything in it as of yet and I got brambles going all the way around let's see if we can get around this guy without any problem eh, okay did okay good he lost interest all right but as you can see we've got three layers of brambles here because I was playing around with this in a creative testing world and it doesn't look like zombies can break this and so it works out really well. Now I ended up, I originally started doing it as too high, but they ended up pillaring up and they get stuck in there and then in it, they place a block and the water would end up coming out and break the bramble. Cause these, whoa, oh, that was a nice little lag spike. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the water does affect the brambles. So we definitely want to make sure that nothing from the water you know, ends up coming out. Now I have the water in here basically to try to help protect the walls. So in case a creeper does go off, it does, it kind of minimizes the amount of damage that it does. Um, yeah, so that is the outside of the base so far. So yeah, so I'm working on getting the moat in place. I'm going to have to get, Oh, got another hit. Um, gonna have to work on getting the materials and stuff to go inside that. So that is definitely, that is going to be, um, very time consuming. But as you can see, I've also got roads in. So we've got a road that goes all the way through and then roads that go off to, in each direction. And then once I get the storage room and the stuff like that, um, this built, then, you know, I'll end up bringing the roads in right now. I don't know where. The entrances are going to be, so I'm not going to place any roads or stuff down. Uh, let's see. I think I think that's all the changes that I ended up making off camera. And then I've got this built right here. Oh, oh, ow. No, no, don't light stuff on fire. Yeah, because what this is going to be, this is actually going to be a portal temple. So I'm planning on having my, uh, my aether portal. Of course, you know, the nether portal. I ended up moving this, and luckily, it ended up linking up with the other portal. So it was close enough that it linked up, and it's like, thank you. No having to move nether portals or anything like that. And then here, we're going to have the one for the Twilight Forest, though we can't. We do not have access to that as of yet, because we, um, we need a Gas Queen tier for that. So we are definitely not going to the Twilight Forest anytime soon. And plus, that is, let's see if we go to achievements, we go beyond these lands. So we've got the Beneath, the Nether, the Aether, and then the End, and then the Twilight Forest. So um, what I want to do is I want to um, head either into the Beneath, because I really want the, um, I think it's M Mithril that's down there. Um, hold on. I know one of the metals is down there. Um, mithril ingot. Yes. Okay. So yeah, cause I need, you know, we need that for like the, um, the advanced enchanting table and, you know, and stuff like that. So 
we need it in order to progress in the game. And so I'm definitely thinking that the beneath may be, may be the way to go. Um, yeah, so this right here, this is what I am going to be building today. So I've got a whole bunch of basalt and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys kind of the pattern that I'm going to be going with. And then I'm going to get to work actually getting this all built up. Because the idea, the idea is, is that I want to have the portals in here. And then kind of have like blocks and stuff that you would find in, you know, in those dimensions. Kind of, you know, sitting around, you know, around the portal. To, you know, to kind of show off like the different things that, you know, that you would end up, you would end up finding there. Um, did I make, no, I didn't make enough. There we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's kind of the, oh, uh, too far. Kind of the plan for this. So let's go ahead and grab regular basalt because I want to kind of do a pattern with the, with the basalt and I'm going to be building this kind of in, kind of in the, it's like the style of like a Greek temple type thing. I know it doesn't, it doesn't really go with what I've been currently building. So I don't think there's really a style here. Um, we'll just, we'll, we'll call it, we'll call it fantasy. That's, you know, that's what we'll call it. Um, let's see. And then we're going to have this and then there is going to be the portal. Yes, I think. Yeah. Oh, placing things wrong. So we're going to do that. Yeah. And then we're going to have basically a block of four. So two, three, four. There we go. And then I'm going to be putting a fountain in the center in between, you know, in between the, um, the portal for the aether and then the portal for the nether. So I am going to continue working on this and then bring you guys back once I have some more progress. The temple is now complete. In fact, let's go ahead. Let's get the that out of the way. There we go. Um, and so we've got, you know, we've got glass up on top so that, you know, the, the sunlight can end up getting through. Granted, I've already had some problems with mobs spawning on the top. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do with the, you know, to do with the top. Uh, might need to put some, you know, carpet or something along those lines because I don't know if I want to actually put any light up there. But yeah, so we've got, you know, the nether portal, which we had before. We've got the aether portal, which I haven't lit yet. And then we've got this little area here. Still need to put water in. This is going to be for the twilight forest, which will come much later in the game. And then we've got this little fountain here. I'm not sure if I like the magic wood that was the original plan, but... It, it, it works for now. Um, and then being in the magic, you know, magic forest, I ended up finding, uh, finding a hot spring and I really love the look of the water on, you know, on this Granted, It'll also be a little bit of a boon because you get regen if you're in this. And so it might help a little bit when we're, <laughs> when we actually do like a raid, um, you know, up, uh, you know, up top side. So, you know, we'll, we'll figure that, you know, figure out if, you know, it's, if it's actually worth it. Cause I've never, I've never really used the, the hot springs before. So my, my biggest thing is the water's pretty. <laughs> so it's not necessarily that, you know, I really want the, you know, the benefit of the regen. I just, I just like the water. It looks prettier than, you know, than the normal water. So yeah, so that is, you know, that is, you know, kind of the temple. And then the plan is to grab this stuff here and kind of, you know, build up around it. But first I want to deal with those two spots here. So now with this stuff, as you know, you know, we're doing an enchanting setup. So all I want to do is just kind of, you know, and this is actually in preparation of going to the beneath because the beneath will allow us to get mithril, which will allow us to upgrade Oh, oh. Um, upgrade our enchanting table. So that is, you know, that is going to be the biggest thing. So let's go ahead and place this here. And then I made some of these enchanting plus books since we, oh, since we now have glowstone. So I, yeah, I really, I really like the looks of these. They're really cool. And then I also ended up making some, oh, I keep forgetting these are bookcases. So I got to actually sneak and do it. Or I should say, uh, 
bookshelves. There we go. So there we go. So that is, you know, kind of going to be our chaining setup. So this will get upgraded once we get the mithril. And then, let's see. Yep, that was all the stuff in there other than, let's go ahead and put our lapis in there. Okay, now this area. Oh, and we got we got a slime. Hello, Mr. Slime. You're kind of in the way of me actually working. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. So, bleh, no, don't hit me. Oh, we got another head. Um, all right. Eh, meh. Almost. Uh, one more. One, one more. There we go. Okay. So this next area is actually going to be for our brewing. Because as you can see, I ended up having to get rid of one of my apple trees. It ended up growing up too far. And it got in the way of the windmill. And so I really need to get, a, you know, an actual setup for, you know, for this stuff. Because um, I need to be able to stop the trees from progressing any further. And we can do that with potions from dynamic trees. So let's go ahead and let's grab all this stuff. So we're going to need that. Okay, and that was just supplies. So now with this one, all I want to do, let's see, we're going to place a table there. And I went ahead and, oh, I went ahead and made the well. And so this is an infinite water source, which is going to be extremely helpful. So let's go ahead and grab that. So now we can actually light our aether portal. Awesome. There we go. And then we're going to need one more bucket of water because we are going to be putting a cauldron here. So this will allow us to, you know, fill up water bottles and stuff and actually do the brewing. Granted, I do need to get some more, um, some more of the blaze powder because I do not have, yeah, right now I only have one. Oh, and then let's go ahead and place our little chair because I want this to look like it's an actual, like, um, like an experiment area, I guess you could call it. Uh, let's see. We need our trap doors. Ugh, get around the chair. There we go. So we're just going to place these around here. We're going to have to move the torch. There we go. So like that. And then place a the torch here. But yeah, so that's just, you know, a nice little area where we can end up working on our potions and stuff. But yeah, so I definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely liking that. And then I want to do... I want to do some of the trees up here. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put here and then there. And then what we'll do is we'll grab our benches and we're going to put. Okay, good. It, it, it connected. There we go. Yeah, because as you can see, the leg, the leg disappears once you put it down. So now we just need to get this, you know, to actually grow up. And that will end up finishing up the front of you know of this and then so the only other thing that I need to do then is to grow the Jakarta trees which I'm going to be putting on the uh, back here one two three four one two three we're gonna place it there and then we want to go one two three four one two three there we go okay so let's move this torch there we go that'll work okay awesome so we'll let these um, we'll let these grow up, and then we'll get a nice canopies and stuff up on top of it. But yeah, this is this area is definitely coming along. So next um, next step we need is an actual like storage room. Um, we've got an enchanting area, we've got a brewing area. So storage is definitely going to be uh, the the biggest thing now, especially once we start going to other dimensions. It's like we need to go to the beneath to get the mithril. So I definitely think that's going to be one of the um, one of the next steps. So I'm thinking maybe next episode we will actually do some dimension hopping. Because we've got the aether available now and we've also got the um, the beneath. So so yeah, so um, definitely really happy with the way this turned out. And then, um, oh yeah, I, I completely forgot. We also need, we need this stuff. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And all I want to do is just kind of do some random placement of this. So these are the, um, what are the, the mm, cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon blocks. We'll just call them cinnamon blocks. And then I ended up finding a flesh biome while I was down there. So that was, um, that was interesting because I ended up getting, um, yeah, it, mm, yes, we can plant it. Okay, awesome. Um, but yeah, I ended up finding some uh, some blood and it's like, um, okay, let's see. Can we, <gasps> yes, we can put it in here. Okay. Awesome. 
I wasn't sure if we were going to actually be able to use this here. Oh, a little bit of a lag spike. Um, I wasn't sure if we were actually going to be able to use the, the statue here. I don't know if it's actually, like, um, usable in terms of, you know, like, can we actually set our spawn by putting the glowstone in here? Um, not, you know, not too sure on that. Um, let's see. Maybe we put one there. Because I figured that, you know, we'd use some of the, you know, like, um, lighting blocks and stuff on this. Oop, throwing stuff. Okay. Oh. That ended up a little bit too big on that. Okay, let's uh, let's grab that. And I guess what we can do then is grab the little guys. Place the little guy and then... Okay, here's the mold stuff. Can we... Can we... Aha! There we go! Sweet! Okay. So yeah, so I ended up going in another and just collecting a whole bunch of, you know, different things in there. Um, okay, we can do that. And then let's put one there. And then do I have any other just random blocks? I guess I could put some like netherrack and stuff here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to replace some of the flesh with, uh, with netherrack, but let's go ahead and we can put one more of those eye stalks there. But yeah. So that's kind of what I want to do with each of the portals is, you know, go in there Grab some of the, you know, grab some of the cooler lurking blocks and then, you know, actually put them, you know, around the portals. So, yeah, so I think that's going to do it um, for us today. We've got, you know, our nice, wonderful portals all set up. And so next episode, I think we are going to work on some, you know, some dimension hopping. And so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.